Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Now, recently I did a Christian YouTuber collaboration video where we took six different YouTube content creators and they recited their favorite Bible verse and then explained what it meant to them. If you haven't seen that video, you can click on this card above here or I'll put it a link in the description below. But now this video that you're getting ready to watch is a part two to that collaboration where we're taking seven different YouTubers and they're doing the same thing, reciting their favorite Bible verse and then explaining what it means to them. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. We have seven great different personalities that are going to be doing this and some of them are brand new to YouTube starting off and some of them have been at it for a little while, but I think it's going to be uh, a great little video and thanks for checking it out and make sure you uh, click on the links to all their different channels below and subscribe to them. So thanks for checking us out. So without further ado, let's get started. My name is Artinique Nelson and first of all I just want to thank Juan for featuring me on his channel and for all of you guys that may be watching this video right now if you are not subscribed to Juan go ahead and hit that subscribe button he's got an awesome community over here. I just wanted to share with you guys my favorite scripture and that is Proverbs chapter 31 verse 30 and it says charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised and the reason I love that scripture is because it really comforted me and I'm a woman who came from a broken background. I had a father that was in prison. I grew up being bullied because I'm African American. Um, I had all kinds of body image issues. I even used to do corseting, um, wearing these metal waist trainers to try to make myself look skinnier. And all of this was because deep down inside, I didn't think that I was valuable. I didn't understand my identity. But once I got the revelation of God's love for me, it totally changed my life. And so for all these women out there that may be watching this right now, I just want to encourage you and let you know that we serve a God who restores and God loves you just the way you are. He didn't make a mistake when he created your nose or your hair texture or uh, the way your body looks. God loves you for who you are and he has a plan and a purpose for you. All right. God bless you. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Lori Brumfield. And today I wanted to share with you one of my favorite Bible verses. Um, it's so hard for me to say that because honestly, like there's so many I love. But I'm gonna share with you the one that I've cling to the most in the past couple of years because I have dealt with a lot of anxiety and depression issues, which by the way, is my newest video. So you can check that out if you want to. But the verse that I chose is Psalm 51, 12. And it says this, restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. So I really have been clinging to this verse in particular for, like I said, the past couple of years because it really does remind me where my joy comes from. My joy doesn't come from temporary things. This, everything in this world is very temporary and I have eternal life because of Jesus, because of the salvation that comes from Jesus Christ. And so it's in Him that I find my joy. It is in Him that I am able to have that, that willing spirit to sustain me, to keep fighting the good fight of faith. All of these things, all these struggles, and like this, this life, this current very short life here on earth, it's nothing compared to the good things. It's all gonna be good things in eternity. Um, and so our lives don't just end here, right? Just because we leave this body, we will go on because of salvation in Christ, we've received eternal life where we will be able to just enjoy all of the good stuff. And so I have to cling to that, cling to that hope. And so I hope this encourages you as well, especially if you're dealing with anxiety and depression right now and you're dealing with um, with some of these things. I, I hope that it brings um, peace and joy uh, in your life as this well. This is how I fight my battles. 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 Hi everybody, my name is Melody Mingville and I am the channel Family of Hope 
vlogs where we promote hope out into a hopeless world. And today I'm sharing my favorite scripture and I wanted to let everybody know that scriptures change as you grow, as you grow in the Lord, as you grow up in life and for your circumstances of what's happening right then and now. Right now, my favorite scripture is in Acts 16 where Paul and Silas were arrested and they ended up in prison. And out of the Message Bible, it says, Along about midnight, Paul and Silas were at prayer and singing a robust hymn to God. They were singing a loud song to God. They were lifting their hands while they were chained up and bound up in chains. The other prisoners couldn't believe their ears. Then without a warning, a huge earthquake. The jailhouse tottered and every door flew open and the prisoners were all loose. And when you had just seen me saying, this is how I fight my battles, because it may look like I am surrounded in chains and bondage and in prison, but I'm telling you right now, this is how I fight my battles. And I am free today in the spirit of the Lord. I am free today that I could be free and worship my King. And he has set me free from my battles today. That is why Acts 16, 22, where Paul and Silas worshiped and the earthquake happened and all the prisoners were loose. Just remember, that's how you fight your battles. That's how you get out of prison. And that's how you break your chains. Lift your hands, sing to the Lord, dance to the Lord, do whatever you can to get those chains loose. And that's why. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my favorite scripture right now. We'll see you guys all another time. Bye. Hey guys, this is Josh from The Narrow Path. Wanted to share with you my favorite Bible verse. It comes from Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. Basically, it says not to be anxious about anything, but in everything, in prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, to present your requests before God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I love these verses because I, for one, struggle a lot with anxiety and it's nice to know that God actually cares and that I can come to him with my anxiety and he'll help me through it by saying that he guards our hearts and minds is actually a picture of an army garrison protecting a town so his peace will help guard our hearts and our minds when we're honest with him about what we are struggling with Hey y'all, my name is Allison and I have a family vlogging channel. It's called Coffee and Littles. It's just where I share my day-to-day -day life being a stay-at-home mom of a 10-month-old and a 4-year-old. And I also share my faith on there as well. Today I'm going to share one of my favorite Bible verses. It is Matthew chapter 5 verse 15 through 16. It says, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. There's also this quote that goes perfectly with it. Don't forget that maybe you are the lighthouse in someone's storm. Do y'all not just love that? I know that some people don't realize how much their light is shining on people. You don't realize that you're encouraging words, you sharing the scriptures and your testimonies. It is helping people. Whether you see it, you are. Don't ever let the devil come down on you and make you feel dumb or feel like you aren't helping or you aren't making a change because you are. No matter what, do not give up sharing God's word and bringing light into this dark, sad, evil world. We need people to share God's word. We need people to shine their light on this world. So please don't ever give up sharing your faith because we all know that this world desperately needs it. Thank you so much for including me in this. I'm so grateful and thankful to be able to have the opportunity to be in this video with all of the other people. And I'm really excited to see this come together so I can hear all of y'all's favorite Bible verses too. Thank you. Bye. Hi. My name is Twana and I am the owner of Talk to Twana on YouTube. And so my friend asked me, hey, what's your favorite Bible verse? And I said, Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things <laughs> through Christ who strengthens me. Why is it my favorite Bible verse? Because I've been through so much. I'm 47 years old and I have been through more than enough. And um, 
probably am going to go through some more things, and you know what? It's okay, because I know I'll get through it. I know that through Jesus Christ, anything is possible. I've been through abusive relationships, sicknesses that should have taken me out, and I'm not really even supposed to be here, but, you know, because of God's grace and mercy, I can do it. I can do whatever I want. I'm not even supposed to be able to look at you and do this video, but I am. I'm sitting at my favorite restaurant, Panera Bread, and I am getting some work done on my YouTube channel, which is amazing to me because, you know, when all odds are against you and then you know, you look around and go, wow, I'm still here. Wow, I'm doing this. God is amazing. And I just wanted to sit here and encourage you that if I can make it through anything, if I can do it, so can you. Bye. from the Cox Coop here on YouTube um, and I'm so glad to be able to have the opportunity to share with you one of my very favorite scriptures. Now this is not the favorite because there's just so many that I love but one of my very favorite, excuse my son in the background, I was hoping you want to hear him, but alas you will. Psalm 107 and 2, let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. What I love about this scripture is it's not just talking about what we can say with our mouths. Although, if you are saved, you should say so with your mouth. But this goes beyond what we can say and into our everyday lives. How we walk, how we talk, how we act. That everything that we do, in every way that we do it, let our whole lives say, I am redeemed. I'm redeemed by love divine.